In this video, I will show you how to change the primary monitor on a Windows 10 PC or laptop. And if this video does help you out today, please consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like on the video, and also consider subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. With that being said, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So I've got my system loaded up and I'm currently on the desktop. Now to do this, it's actually quite easy to do. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're on your desktop. And what you want to do is right click and come down and click on to display settings. So what it's going to do is take you across to the display settings. And from here, if you actually scroll down the page slightly, you're going to see a section called multiple displays. Um, so what you can do is actually connect to a wireless display by using this option or if you've got like a direct connection into your computer then what you're going to want to do is click on to detect if it's not already picked up. So once you've clicked on to detect what's going to happen you're going to get actually a picture you're going to get a picture of two screens come up. One's going to say one and one is going to say two. Of course the one that says one is your primary monitor and to change this across all you're going to need to do is just drag which one is your primary monitor and the picture of the screen that has the number one in it will be your primary monitor of course the one that has the number two will be your secondary monitor so you can also find out some more information if you come down to advanced display settings down here you're going to see that this is going to tell you in further depth which one is your primary monitor so for example, on this tutorial, you can see I've only got it connected to one monitor, but it says display one iMac. But if I was to have two monitors, it would say display one iMac and then display two, uh, whichever the monitor is that's connected. So I hope this quick tutorial helped you out today. And if it did, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like on the video and did consider subscribing to the channel. For that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.